this is the clinic for the Galay Etude Number no. 5 from his 12 studies for second horn. This is the second etude in the TMEA audition list for horn for 2015-16. This is another one of his character studies. So it's important that you bring out the emotional content. This is very dramatic music and should be played as such. First, it starts very mysterious. The opening, you have three occurrences of a particular figure. Each one is a little bit higher in tessitura. So what you should do is make sure that each occurrence gets a little bit more energy. Then after that in measure five, just nice singing cantabile. Then as we get into seven, if you look at seven and eight compared with five and six, all he has done is ornamented the, the melody somewhat. So when you have this ornamentation, bring it out a little bit more and then drive down to the low C in measure eight. the next section. At measure nine, we have this jagged rhythm. Let your crescendo occur on the long notes. Don't worry about kicking the short note out so much, but gauge your crescendo. Then, once you get up to the A in measure ten, even though there is a diminuendo written, at the end of the bar, you do not have to do a physical one. If you use the same amount of energy from that A all the way down to the F sharp, a natural diminuendo will occur. You have to remember natural acoustics. Lower notes take more energy to sound as loud. So if we use the same amount of energy, simply the motion of those notes going down will make a natural diminuendo. Then at 11, this is another point of expression. We have all these half steps. So I would like to hear a little bit of, of lean on the lower half step. These exercises from that Galay writes is for the natural horn. In other words, no valves. It, it was all done with hand and lip technique. So those were very expressive. Then when we get to 12, notice that the very first note is that carotid staccato. That's very separated and should be detached from what follows. At 12 and 13 we have these wonderful flourishes and as you get up to the top and go down, remember that we have to use a little bit more energy so that we don't run out of sonority as we go down low. We have to make sure we drive all the way down to those F sharps. 
Yes, they are F sharps. If you notice that the, uh, in the earlier part of the measure, you have F sharps written. It doesn't matter that it's, that it's a, in a different octave. The F sharp still needs to be played. Then, at 14 and 15, we have a transition getting back into the opening. So at 14, if you look, you have that, uh, that jagged rhythm again, double dotted eighths with 30 seconds. Let the diminuendo occur on the long notes, just as you let the crescendo occur on the long notes in measure nine. And now we're back at 15 to the opening material. Notice at 14, I did an unwritten retard. I think that musically you can do this. I think it makes it a little bit more musical. Now, if we look at 15, if we compare the opening, it's almost identical. Where we start diverging is at 22. 22 is an ornamented passage from number 8. So we have to make sure that we have a nice drive all the way down to the low C. Then at 23, we have those double dotted figures again. So now we're going to go all the way from 15, and I'm going to stop at the downbeat of 26. Now that we've arrived at 26, practice the melody notes, which are the notes that are above. Get that as your goal. Then, the repeated C's, you know where they are. I would just put those in automatic pilot. If you just go up and if I ask you to play a C, you would know where it is. What you need to do is make sure that the low C is just that controllable.
So when you put it all together, you're just concentrating really on those upper notes and just put the lower notes on automatic pilot. Then at 28, when you have this chromaticism, give it a lot more shape. Make it a little bit more, at lack of a better word, snaky as you, uh, as you play this. And also not only there, but in the following measure at 29. So we're going to go now from 26 to the downbeat of 30. very nice and smooth. Then at the very end we have these little flourishes. Just play them very not light, let the air do the work, a very brush stroke type of ton. One thing that you do have to watch out for, surprisingly enough, is the last measure. We've been playing very short notes up until this time and the quarter notes and especially the, the last half note seems very, very long. So make sure that you're using your good subdivision so that we have two eighth notes for each quarter and four eighth note pulses for the last note. And this concludes the clinic for Galley number five. Good luck, and I'll see you on our other clinics. Thank you.